923 in an online movement designed to cut down on waste is taking on a new life as inflation drives up the cost of everything. The Buy Nothing Project started in 2013 and it's grown into a worldwide network mostly based on Facebook. Yeah, there's more than 7,000 Facebook groups, including one in Evanston. And that group's administrators, Aaron and Ellis Booker, are joining us now to explain how this all works. Good morning. Good morning. All right. So we, um, should I jump in? Sure, sure. Go ahead. So we founded the group um, mostly because we are committed to environmental uh, conservation. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, sustainability issues are important to both of us. And um, when I when we met about ten years ago, I was taking uh, uh, old laptops that people had in basements and closets, putting a, a nimble modern open source operating system on them and putting them back for free into the community. Aaron really scaled the idea up of this, you know, repurposing of materials with the Facebook group that she found. And it just, it's really a commitment to helping people recognize that what they might not want anymore, like you have scrolling right now, a baby sippy cup with a good washing, a sanitizing cycle on a dishwasher, it's perfectly usable for somebody who might want it. And as you said, in this economy, people are looking for um, things to enhance their lives or support the things they need, but it's so hard to afford those things that this is a way to not only share what you have and don't need anymore, as opposed to throwing it into a trash, which ultimately lands in a, a, a landfill, but also make sure that somebody else gets it who could sincerely use it. We, um, like you said, helped a teacher who needed supplies for her classroom. We have uh, done diaper drives and drives for support for Ukraine. So we've, we've kind of done use the, the platform for the gamut of just making sure that things that people have can be passed on to somebody who may need them. But we want to hop in here and just ask you, you know, there's no strings attached, no money involved. Um, walk us through the process of how you're able to do that. So, so the person would need to join the group. Uh, it's a Facebook group. It is a closed group, but I pretty much welcome anyone where some buy nothing groups are very hyper local and the person has to live in that town. We feel like it should be open to anyone because maybe somebody's in town helping their parents downsize and want to help repurpose furniture for their parents home, but they don't live in Evanston. So we say anyone can join. Um, there's the only main rules is they can post anything. It has to be for free. Uh, it has to be local pickup. We don't, uh, we discourage shipping because again, this commitment to environmental awareness. Uh, so we encourage porch pickups or uh, a safe place like a, a police station or a fire department. And then that's pretty much it. You can post anything, you can sell anything, or I'm sorry, not sell, but give anything away for free except for live creatures, animals or reptiles or that sort of thing. I'm glad you we do said have no shipping people. too, because you know you bring in the cardboard box and then you got to write plastic around the thing. So yeah, that's a fantastic point. Uh, before we let you go, though, I did want to ask, what are some of the the most heartwarming stories you have seen come out of this this group? Well, Erin comes out of early childhood education, and teachers are she she's told me about this, and her daughter, our my stepdaughter, is now a teacher at CPS. They are always needing materials to fill their classrooms. So that's one, you know, amazing category that people can participate in. And another heartwarming story for me is I, I met a woman who just lost everything in a fire and a divorce and just needed everything. And just imagine if you were starting your whole life over from scratch, mm. there are organizations that help in those crisis situations, but still it's kind of nice to know your neighbors you know, willing to offer some of the things that have meant something to them. Too. And I will say, Aaron mentioned the Ukraine drive. Our living room was was basically a six foot tall pile of materials wow. that people in the group donated to us in very short order, like a mm. few days. Wow. So it, it was really powerful. Well, Aaron and Ellis, thank you for what you do. Um, thank you for showing your heart and the power of community. Uh, we want to let everybody know if you want to learn more about Buy Nothing Project and its many local chapters, go to buynothingproject.org. You all take care.